had a feeling my guitar bridge was lifting. It looked like it had some gaps. So off come the strings. And I'm going to work on getting this bridge off. I first mask off the bridge and protect the top with a piece of cardboard. Put a piece of wax paper between the iron and the bridge is always a good idea. Just checking it for heat there, see how hot it's getting. This takes a while. Now I'm just going to work a blade or two under this until I can get it to come off. Now it's loose, although something is still attached to it. It's a piece of the finish. It's going to score it and hopefully doesn't cause too much of an issue. This was my first bridge removal and kind of an exciting reveal, but I did get some tear out. Some of the top lifted up and then when I peeled back the tape, it pulled some of the finish off in little pieces. I was able to collect most of them so I can glue them back on there later. Rookie mistake. So now just taking a look a little closer at the way this bridge was glued down. Kind of an odd pattern of glue. They just kind of slopped it on in the center right over the finish. Now I want to remove that some of these large pieces of the top so I can fill in some of the gaps by gluing them back onto the top back where they belong. I'm going to use my bridge clamping tool to hold it in a vise because it's kind of an odd shaped bridge. I do need to chisel away all this glue and wood and finish from the back of this bridge. But first I'm going to remove some of the bigger pieces. That one fits right there. That's 
about the only one I was able to salvage. But I'll glue it down. Can't forget to put a piece of wax paper under that. I've made that mistake a couple of times. Well, maybe just once. a little pressure for about half hour hour should do it in the meantime I'll start to work on the bridge flatness I was not aware that some bridges do have an arch to match the top because even a flat top guitar is not perfectly flat there's always some sort of a belly bulge or some kind of a radius on it but I go ahead and sand it flat anyway it turns out to be a bit of a mistake nothing I can't correct later but kind of a head scratcher for a little while you see by flattening out the top lowers the action and when I restrung it I was wondering why the action was so low, but watching this video, I realized what my mistake was. Now I'm going to line up the bridge, kind of make another mistake here. I don't quite know where to put the bridge, but I just put it in position where I think it was and score around it because I do need to remove all the finish under the bridge. But I didn't realize at the time that I could just put some bridge pins in there and line them up. But now I have it all scored and now it's time to remove all that finish and glue and try to get a nice flat surface to glue to. To work well going across the grain like that. Going at 45 degrees works pretty well too. Eventually I do get it all cleaned up with just a couple of battle wounds there, easy to touch up.
First I want to do a little touch up on this finish. Just took a little shellac, some tinted shellac. Just to put a little protection on there. This rosewood has a lot of oils in it. Helps gluing adhesion if you can remove that with some acetone. Here I score the surface, just scuff it up a little bit. You got to use a paintbrush to do this part, or else it'll get way too messy. It helps work it into the pores too. You don't really want too much glue, I learned. I probably could have done with almost half of the glue that I put on there. I got so much squeeze out. And here I don't even, I, I'm not even sure if it's sitting in the pocket that I scored out because there's so much squeeze out. And then my bridge clamp, there's a slot in the center that I should have ran little 1032 screws through the top down into the guitar and clamped it through the bridge pins and that would have helped locate it but first time you're making some mistakes and I just clamped it straight to the top it was roughly in the right place that's all I can say about it it wasn't that far off I do need to drill out some of the glue that got in to the bridge pin holes. Just going to clean it out with a reamer. Now put the saddle back in place. I didn't change the saddle at all. So now she's ready to tighten up the strings and see how it plays. We'll give it a quick check on the relief. The intonation came out pretty good. It was pretty close. Even with the bridge placement fumble, I think the intonation worked out pretty well. Strum a little chord. Open E. Sounds good. Everything seemingly checked out pretty well in the end. Quick check with some paper. And that's it for this one.